Hey guys, welcome back to the arena. Today we're going to be doing some more ladder grinding here with mono white tokens. Um, if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate you. And if you do end up liking my content, please consider subscribing and maybe sharing it with a friend of yours. For my returning viewers, thank you guys so much again for coming back. I really do appreciate you guys. I also do want to give a big shout out here to all of my members. Thank you guys for helping support the channel. And if you'd like to become a member, you can get early access to my content for as little as $1.99 a month, and here's exactly how you do that. If you would like to become a member and help support my channel, you can do so. Just click on the Join button right next to where it says Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Um, or if you would like to just support my channel just on a one-time basis, you can also click the Super Thanks button uh, here right on the... Uh, also right under the banner here for the video. So these are both great ways to support the channel. I really appreciate you guys and I couldn't do this without you. So thank you guys so much again for your consideration. All right, let's get into some games. All right, so let's jump into some of the changes here. So I wanted to kind of have a look at the sort of overview of the metagame right now. And um, there are about 30% of the field is running mass board wipe effects, whether it's the um, Boros Tokens deck, Domain, um, some versions of Control. And so I was kind of trying to deal with that with Invasion of Goba Khan. But what I've found is maybe kind of the bigger issue is having decent access to removal against some of like the really fast like Gruul and Mono Red matchups. Um, and then also with the addition of Get Lost here, this helps um, against the combo card in uh, Black Green, and then also just with other enchantments that are pesky, um, especially out of like Boros Tokens Control. Uh, they have a lot of really nasty enchantments. Um, and just being able to deal with that, I think is gonna be pretty helpful. So I made room by shaving two copies of Recruitment Officer. So down to 14 one drops, I don't really want to go too much below that, but I think having access to a bit more removal is going to be a really good change. Um, I did end up shaving the Invasions of Goba Khan, uh, just because there are a lot of decks that don't run board wipes that that is really kind of there for, sort of the more like higher end, um, you know, board wipe effects or powerful, you know, four or five, six drops. But um uh, this, I think, is just going to be a little bit more ubiquitous for how it helps the deck. So with that, um, I did also change the mana base. I took out three Fountain Ports and changed them out for three Mishra's Foundry, partly just because this deck is super aggressive and we're not really, uh, I, at least I was finding that I wasn't really spending that much time trying to like grind out extra tokens, but just sort of get there for like the last few points of damage. And so I think Mishra's Foundry is going to be maybe a little better in that situation. So all that said, let's go ahead and get in some games. And I think right now we're sort of right around platinum rank three. So just kind of slowly moving up the ladder. But um, yeah, it's been a really fun journey kind of changing things around. And I do like where the uh, mono white token stack is going. Okay, opening hand looks great. We've got stuff to do, three lands. A little bit of removal. And if we can pick up like a two drop or maybe just like another one drop, something to do on turn two. Hopefully that'll be nice. Okay, unfortunately did not. Um, against mono blue, I think maybe we want to get case. I'm just wondering if I want to get case down right now instead of like spending a turn dealing with it. Um, they don't have a ton of creatures, so this could be wrong, I'm not sure, but I think we're just gonna go ahead and just drop case here, just so we can free up some of our future mana. Could go for the Evangelist. I mean, it's pretty obvious that they're holding up counter magic. 
So maybe the plan here is just go foundry and push. Otherwise, like I guess we're giving them more like potential card draw by, you know, um, not casting anything. So maybe we'll just try for the evangelist and just try to bleed them out of counters. They almost certainly have a counter spell here, but oh, I guess they did have the moment of truth, so this actually worked out. I suppose we could have also tried to pump up Warden last turn instead of push in for damage. I kind of wanted to see if they were going to do something during combat, but, you know, could have gone either way. Um, now do we want to try to push with Foundry? Um, I kind of like that because it gives us a better chance of getting Case going. Especially if they have some like bounce for one of our other creatures. Although Hop to it is pretty good also. I think I'm gonna go with the foundry play here. Just to try to make sure we get case going. Yeah, and they've got bounce. So I'm glad we took that line. probably have counters here. I guess we can test it with Get Lost. So let's start there. Okay, they do have the counter. Question is now if we want Evangelist or Hop to it. Um, yeah, I think, I mean, if they've got more bounce, like Evangelist is worse. And I think since we've got Case going, might just rather have Hop to it. This will give us a potential flying blocker if that matters later. But I think I'm just going to go for Hop to it here. I suppose if we played Evangelist, we would have had Double Bat and potentially preventing them from getting in. I don't know. Could see going either way. Okay, that was definitely a nice pickup. Yeah, that's a nice, that's a nice, uh, I haven't seen this, uh, this deck yet, so, yeah, the free counter spell is nice. Okay, so now I think we probably have to hold back with the bat, 
just because of the hottie gen, since they might have like removal here for our warden. Um, Okay, that's a nice pickup. Do we want to? I think we probably do want to go one more time here with Warden. Then I guess we could push seven here, get him within range. Um, if they have any removal for Warden, though, they could just potentially just kill us out of nowhere. Yeah, I think it's a little safer just. To, to hold back with the bat. Since we do have a lot of action here on the ground, if we can just survive till next turn. And hopefully next turn we can just full send. I suppose they could have March of Swirling Mists. Or actually, 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 that's no longer in the format, so. Yeah, and they had the bounce. I think we just take it though. So if we if we just take it, drop to eleven, we'll have eight attackers next turn. We need five to get through. Yeah, I think that's the play. Double crab. Okay. So now we're pushing six. Yeah, problem is now they can kill us in the air with a good draw. I think we still go for it though. Because we'll have three blockers. So it just depends on what they top deck here. I guess any bounce will do it. Maybe we should have like attacked with one fewer, I suppose. Oh, okay, that's a nice pickup. I don't think we could have played around that too well. <sighs> yeah, Eddie Merck Crab, it's pretty good. Uh, 
opening hand looks great. Could definitely see this hand getting somewhere. Okay, Rakdos Pump. I think I'd rather have Warren Guard because we just want to race over Warden. Could also try to like force this, get something out of their hand, but I think we want to just try to build up towards Knight Errant, so we'll just take it. Now, though, I think we do want to chump. Because we, like, force the, the uh, trample out of their hand. Okay, that was a nice pickup. Definitely needed that. And I think we probably need to use this next turn. We can't really wait around. So I think we just warden and then set up. Don't know that we need another knight errant. It's definitely good, but it's just we need to try to close out the game. Yeah, hopefully we can keep them from giving it trample. I think if they, I mean, if they've got trample, like they've got us, right? So. We want to use like our reinforcements to block it. Okay, then we'll use Novice Inspector to block the next one. Question is, I guess we could leave like, maybe leave Knight Errant back to block their Emberheart Challenger. It's probably right. 
I mean, we need to push damage, though, is the problem. Um, suppose we could leave back Warden. That's a little risky, though. I think it's probably just full send, leave back Knight Errant. And then hopefully they don't have any kind of way to give that thing trample. Maybe we stabilize it like one here, depending on if they've got pump. Ah, Kalisel Sword, that'll do it. Oh well. Yeah, I don't think we can draw anything that'll deal with that, unfortunately. Had kind of a narrow window to end the game there. Okay, opening hand looks good. Hopefully we can Get something going. Okay, it could be Jess Guy Convoke or maybe just Blue White Control. I think with all the counters, we want to just main phase this just to kind of get something going. different deck. All right, well, let's do another setup turn. Hopefully they don't have um, lockdown. That would be unfortunate. set up here with evangelist i guess if they have um i mean if they have turn five board wipe with sunfall it's really awkward it's probably how they get out of this okay no sunfall that's good news those things don't fly. Yeah, that'll do it. I 
one and two this session, so uh, not so great. But uh, let's take a look at the overall stats of the deck. All right, overall the deck is still 62% win rate, 73% uh, win rate on the play, and 53% on the draw, so definitely much better on the play. Uh, 36 wins and 22 losses overall, so still very happy with the deck. Um, definitely has been dropping a little bit in win rate, but I sort of expected a little bit of that. And then in terms of the matchups, looks like we're about 50-50 here with Rakdos, whether it's the uh, Rakdos Pump or Lizards, it's kind of hard to tell. Um, the really tough matchup here is Boros. Most of this, I think, is Boros token control, which is just a really nasty matchup when they have eight board wipes with uh, Sunfall and Lockdown. Um, so maybe that'll get better here with Get Lost. Though. I'm hoping that that matchup will get a little bit better. And then looks like um, a little bit positive here against Golgari and um, Mono Red, a little bit positive here, 62%. So uh, Orzov doing great, 100% 4-0. And then some decent matchups over here. Looks like Domain is 50-50. Um, took a loss here to Mono Blue. Um, but in general, pretty happy with the deck. So we will see you guys next time. And thank you so much again for watching. I really do appreciate you guys. Mm -hmm.